Hello, the internet. Welcome. Come on in. Take a chair. Sit down. I am going to be in charge here tonight. I am the Moy Chicken, and this is Mega Man X3. Today we are going to Gravity Beetle's level. So, what's this? A cricket or a grasshopper? A something. A sparkle? Oh, the moonlight. In the moonlight, he fires a... that... No, oh, it's a gravity static bubble thingamajigger, and he's like, ha ha, I destroyed a city. Like it weren't no thing. Gravity Beetle. Oh, so cool. Ready. Here we are at the airport. Gravity Beetle is uh, apparently in charge of the airport. I mean, I guess it makes sense. You know, planes defy gravity and all, but, you know, it's like the, the airport level in, say, Mega Man X one made a lot of sense you know it's like it was it was being managed by storm eagle who was you know an aerial combatant so it kind of made sense that he would be here you know like if, if you were if you were sigma it's like oh, go forth my minions and take control of the things that are you know reasonable for you you chill penguin go take care of the arctic base you spark mandrel you have christmas lights on you go take care of the electric plant and then he's like, Storm Eagle, you go and take over the airport. Yes, this is a perfect plan. Oh, I want that. We'll have to come back later for that. There's a there's a trick you have to use to get in there. But we cannot do it yet. So we're going to have to come back. But um, but yeah, and then in this level, or in this game, it's sort of like Dr. Dupper's like, Go forth, my reploids. You, uh, Blast Hornet. You have bombs in your abdomen. Go and take over the military base. You, Gravity Beetle, you're a heavy beetle that has gravitational powers. Why don't you take care of the airport or something? You know, it's like, that, that doesn't, really, doesn't really flow very well. Oh, and right up here, so I want that. That will come very much in handy in just a little while. So I can get it. I can't actually use it yet, though. It's kind of a strange thing, um... I'll explain what it is. Basically, that was a ride armor. You, There are four ride armor items that you can find in this game. Um, I think it's like F, N, M, and H, maybe? I think I think it's, I think think it's. one of them is an M. Um, I don't know what they stand for. I think I think F stands for frog, because it hops. It, it hops and it's equipped. It's amphibious. But um, in order to use in order to use them, you use those big... Uh, those like platforms, the dancing time platforms. But you actually cannot use them until you get the in version specifically. That's supposed to be, I guess, the first one you find. It's also the one that's sort of the most obvious what it is, uh, because you actually just find the right armor. You find it like in Blast Hornet's level, it's just kind of like in a warehouse, and then you can ride it. And as soon as you ride it the first time, you then have the in item. It just kind of automatically shows up in your inventory. Um, and after you have that, I guess, I guess they just want to make sure you knew what it was before they let you use it, which, I don't know, I'm not wild, like I, okay, so, right up here is a platform. Yeah, I was, <laughs> you guys missed out on me trying to figure out what these were, like, I kept, I kept finding them, finding them level after level, and I didn't have the, uh, the in one yet, and I was like, what are these? What are these things? Why do they always show up? What are they good for? And then I finally figured it out. I was like, oh, that's what they're good for. They're ride armor platforms. Um, yeah, I guess they just want to make sure you knew what they were, but I don't know. It's like, if I, if I find them, why not let me use it? You know, it just, it just seems kind of silly. It's like, it's like in, um, in, I think, Mega Man X6, if I remember correctly, you cannot use the uh, the armor upgrades until you have all four of them. I really, I'm really not wild about that idea. You know, it's like at least it, it actually. I think in Mega Man X One, you had to find them to get others. Like you couldn't get the uh, the the what is it called the the uh, gun upgrade until you had the helmet one and until you had the boots one. So, it's, I don't know, it, I liked it better when it was sort of like, you know, you could use them. It just seemed to make more sense to me. Alright, now this guy, the way this guy fights is he throws those little balls. Um, and actually he's peeing a lot harder this time than he was the first time I fought him. The first time I fought him, he he 
did kept doing his other attack, which is to charge you, uh, which is a lot easier to avoid, honestly. Now he makes that, and he can jump higher, and he charges, I guess, faster. That Yeah, that that's a much easier attack to deal with when he just starts charging. You can just jump over it. Not not a problem at all. Although that, that both both his like shield effect and also that gravity well up there, those are pretty cool. I like that kind of stuff. It's like in, um in Chrono Trigger when you would uh shoot someone with magic, they would like change colors like that and shot. You're done. Blow up, blow up, blow up, good sir. I am done with you. But yeah, I, I like that kind of like color th color themed uh. Cycling color effect. I have no idea what it's actually called. Cool Chrono Trigger looking thing. Whatever. It's cool. There we go. We beat Gravity Beetle. <laughs> All intentional. Perfect. Wonderfully executed uh, commentary. Sure you all love it. Anyway, that was Gravity Beetle. And... We got Gravity Well. Super sweet Gravity Well. See you later. So, that's going to be it for, well, huh, this is a very short episode, it did not take me very long at all to beat him, hmm, alright, twofer, <laughs> I'll do another level, why not, why not, I, after I lost most of my footage, I might as well get it, get it back as quickly as I can, so, this episode will be a twofer, <laughs> we are also going to play... Uh, this guy, Blast Hornet. Let's see what he's all about. It's an eyeball, a satellite. Beam! And he blows up a city. Jeez. And then he just kind of flies away. He's like, I blew up that city. Pose! <laughs> My all-purpose creepy e villain voice that I use over and over again because I love it so! That's a little bit like Skeletor. Whatever. This is Blast Hornet stage. He is... He has taken over a military base. And we are here to take it back. Now, beating Blast Hornet is actually one of the major contributors to, like, uh... the environmental effects where, like, you, you beat somebody and things change. Um... I think Blast Hornet's changes are the most wide-reaching because those little red guys with the, uh, let's see, this is, yep, can't do anything with that yet. Uh, those little red guys with the, uh, with the missiles and the grenade launchers, they turn, they lose their grenade launchers and become much easier to deal with. All right. Now, right up there is something I want. Now, when I did this the first time, I got this on the first try. Let's see how it... Let's see. How many lives do I have? Two lives. Okay. Let's see if I can do it. All right. So good. So good. Dancing time. Dancing time. All right. Let's go. This is a pink capsule. Pink. Enter this capsule, X. Install this energy chip. This chip will allow you to recover your energy. Stand still and your energy level will slowly increase. Remember, X, your system can handle only one of the four enhancement ships. Enter this capsule only if you are sure you want to use this chip. X, you do not yet have the part this chip will be installed into. Please return after you find it. So, the way those work, there is a secret that is available at the end of the game that relates to those um basically the 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 pink capsules are sort of like secondary upgrades so they're not actually like a new piece of armor or anything like that they enhance the abilities you already have so that one for example i think would enhance my armor and would grant me the ability to just regen my health if i stand still um Unfortunately, I didn't have the power. But it, but to get the secret I was talking about, you have to... Um... Oh, crap. Oh, oh. Deadly, deadly wireframe! Oh, it's so cool! Uh, this was, I mean, this was, this was pretty cool stuff back in the SNES era. Like, we, we didn't, we didn't have wireframes like this or anything like this. It was, it was super cool to see all this. 
It was like, oh, it's the future! The future when wireframes will try to kill you! Deadly snowflakes! Um, but yeah, so in order to get the secret, you have to find all four pink capsules, open them up, and then say no to them, pretty much. Uh, you have like the game has to acknowledge that you have have discovered them and know where they are, and then you can get the secret thing. But I do not actually. Uh, I don't know if. Oh, no, look at this. See my drill? My drill will now pierce through this. Yay! And we are on our way to find the right armor. Yay! Right armor. Woohoo! Yay! Everybody loves Riot Armor! It's so cool! So cool! It's got the punching! But yeah, the game has to acknowledge that you found all of them, and then you can potentially get this the secret. The thing I don't know, though, is if... Like, you know, right there, Dr. Light was like, Oh, you you can't, you don't actually have the thing you need to do the thing. Um, so I don't know if that counts for me having found it or not. So hopefully it does. Now here's something kind of cool. If I had not beaten Gravity Beetle stage when I got here, there would be a sequence, se sequence, sequence where a plant, like a uh, transport, shows up and picks up like a bunch of cargo. But since I already beat him, it didn't happen. Likewise, um, in Gravity Beetle stage, there were a bunch of cargo containers, and if I had already beaten Blast Hornet stage, they would be gone. So it's just little, little cool stuff like that, and no bite. Ugh. I want to, I want to, like, I want to get rid of Bite and Mysterious Maverick just so we have that done. You know, I, I don't like having that kind of hanging over my head, knowing that, like, they're not finished yet. Oh my gosh, really? Really, Mega Man? Really, Mega Man? Unbelievable. Whew. Yeah, these, these, these levels are going a little bit faster since I just did them. I just, like, I just finished playing through all of them, so it's... I kind of already know what I'm doing. A little fru I'm still, I'm still a little frustrated about it. Like to explain, if if you weren't here for the last last super despair episode, um, I recorded a bunch of episodes tonight, and then lost the footage, which means I have to get them get it again. Here we go. Oh, there we go. There's bite. Wow, it's it's amazing. It, it, oh, nice to meet you, X. I am bite. I've been programmed to exterminate you. I don't even know what kind of accent that was trying to be. So now, the way this guy works is he, um... He throws a little magnet thing at the wall, and then... Or, like, a little repulsor disc at the wall. And, um, while it's there, you kind of get pushed off of the wall, and then he tries to ram you. But if you just use drills, this is what he's weak to. It's not hard. Like, this guy is really not terrible to fight especially compared to bit like I remember this guy being harder because when I was younger I didn't know how to fight him like I didn't know what the repulsor thing was doing so I was just like oh he's so strong I can't stick to the walls oh what do I do and then then I learned it's just it's really very easy yeah. oh and then he does that 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 move is devastating where he does his little crazy punch I'm glad you got to see it no, how could this great power be generated from within such an ancient machine? Who held on X? This victory is yours. Ba boom, 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 ba boom. He blew up. Um, but yeah, it's. I'm glad you guys got to see that because that move is devastating, and that's actually why I used to think I'm getting sucked through the wall, just just backing out afterwards. Like, okay. I don't know who that guy was, but I guess I'm done with him. Um, but yeah, that 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 one shot can be devastating. I didn't know how to deal with him when I was younger. I didn't know how to deal with the repulsor things, so I just sort of thought he was super scary. But once you know about the drill thing and how the repulsors work, it's really not that bad. Pretty easy, honestly. Now, one thing that he did bring up, which is kind of a cool thing to think about. Uh, I mentioned this in the the. Uh, lost, the now lost episodes as well. Um, Mega Man X, so the Mega Man X series takes place in 21XX. The Mega Man series takes place in 20XX. Um, so there is time between them, and 
I mean, it, it's sort of implied that, like, that uh, at, well, we, we know at least 30 years have passed because that's how long X was in his diagnostic chamber um, when he was being sort of tested for his ethics pro ethics programming, I guess, is the best way to describe it. Um, and so some time has passed. And so X here is actually a very old robot. Like, and and that, that was sort of what Byte brought up. He's like, how can such an ancient machine really be this powerful? And if you think about it, it's like, yeah, well, it, it's a computer. It's like, it's it seems like it should be pretty terrible, honestly. I'm actually doing not, not that bad at this guy. So the way Blast Hornet works is uh, that little pink circle, I guess, uh, will track you, and then his little drones will fly around, and, uh, he's gonna kill me, yeah. He killed me. His drones will basically ho home in on you based on, on that little tracking device. Um, I didn't say anything about the beginning of the fight. This, this fight was uh, pretty tough last time I did this. Um, I'm, you know, having just fought him not too long ago, I kind of still remember how to fight him so it's not that bad like you just have to you, you dodge that and then you shoot all of his little bees so that they don't give you fits and then you dodge him again and then you shoot the bees because that 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 bee sting attack he's got there that is pretty painful if you actually let them hit you but it's pretty easy to dodge if you know it's coming um, you just kind of have to go under it. Just go under it. Usually the easiest way to take care of it. Whoop. Mm -hmm. Sting. Ugh. I was doing better last time. <laughs> it starts to go faster. And those things, you know, they die in like one shot, but... You just have to actually hit him. Have to actually hit him. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Sorry if I go quiet. This is this is probably one of the harder reploids in this game because a lot of the reploids in this game just really aren't that bad. Oh, look at it! Look at his his wings. Uh, he looks like he's got like sad dog ears. He's like, oh, you blew me up. I just wanted to use that cool bee helicopter back there and shoot a satellite laser and blow up a city. You didn't have to shoot me. Oh, Poor Blast Hornet. Oh, look at my super military uniform. Looks very, very like commando-y. You get Parasitic Bomb. That's a little bomb that will like stick onto enemies. Now one thing, one of the things about Mega Man X that always kind of bothered me is that like there are there are a lot of weapons that you get that only really work on like smaller enemies. I don't like that. I feel like they should you know work on enemies of any any size. But anyway, that was blast. Uh, let's see, that was uh two bugs, two bugs in one episode. That was a uh, Gravity Beetle and Blast Hornet. And all we've got left is Toxic Seahorse and a burger. What is this? A uh, Volt Catfish. Yeah, he looks like a hamburger to me. I don't know. He looks like a hamburger villain. Or, you know what he kind of looks like? He kind of looks like Flying O from Gitaru Man. Whatever. Anyway, this has been the Moly Chicken with more Mega Man X3, and I hope you all come back and see me again.